Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, we're Portal Games and this is Portal Con. And with me today, my amazing wife. Hello, hello. Mary. <laughs> and uh, production delays uh, my right hand and left hand. Uh, Greg. Polevka. <laughs> and uh, so this is it. It's happening. Uh, months of preparations. Uh, a huge team of people involved in this, in this project. And here we are, PortalCon Online. For years, our fans from North America and, of course, different parts of the world uh, wished to be part of PortalCon because we held this convention once a year in Poland. Because the COVID, we may do a PortalCon Online. This is sort of uh, fun, uh, like at the real convention. So we hope you will enjoy that. And I have 45 minutes right now. And I have a ton of announcements, ton of things to present. Mary is on chat with you, so she's checking what you are writing and she'll be giving some insight. And Greg has all the knowledge, he already brought something that I forgot, so he's already better prepared than me. Uh, so, but before we start, before we start with announcements, before we start with pre orders, uh, short information what PortalCon is. PortalCon is a two days event that will be streamed on YouTube. But hello, hello, Facebook, hopefully. Hello, hello, Twitter. Hello, hello, Twitch. So we stream on different platforms, but the home of the, of the whole convention is our YouTube channel. And we have prepared 20 events for you, altogether 26 hours of, of content, uh, Saturday and Sunday. But besides YouTube and besides us uh, doing silly stuff uh, for you in front of camera, we have Discord. And to be honest, I have no clue how to get there. Like there is some link or whatever, like how people can find it. For sure, if, if you go to Portal Games website, there is a link to our Discord. And But I have no clue how to get it without visiting Portal Games website. But we have official Portal Games uh, Discord. We started this week. And believe it or not, we have already a few hundred people uh, signed up. Like this is insane. Uh, so people apparently love Discord these days. For me, it's a new platform. Uh, do you have an account on Discord? Yes, I do. Everybody. Yes. And Mary has, and everybody has. <laughs> so you can go to our Discord channel, uh, find other uh, Portal Games fans, uh, find our volunteers who can teach you games. And uh, speaking about... No, teach you. And speaking about different games, and speaking about playing games, we this week we finally finished the operation. Greg was preparing that. Tabletopia 6 games. Yep. We have Naroshima Hacks. Monolith Arena in a base version, Nerushima in a base version, Robinson Crusoe in a base version, Imperial Setters two factions, Stronghold, mm, yes. and Detective Suburbia case. So these are the Correct. six titles you can go during this convention, during this weekend, and of course you can play it uh, as well later. But here at the Discord we have volunteers, we have portal gamers, we have a ton of friends who will help you and they will teach you this game. So if you want to learn how to play Imperial Setters, if you want to learn how to play Stronghold, if you want to play Robinson Crusoe, go to our Discord channel. There is a thread or whatever, I don't know, room. I don't know how you call them, that uh, you are looking for the game. And there you can type, I'm looking for the game. I want to play Imperial Setters. I want to play Niroshima Hex. And there will be people who will teach you and help you. But for the most of the time, we want you to be here, engaged with us, and uh, watching this uh, live stream with us, as I said, Mary, me, Greg, and Marag is behind us, uh, keeping everything alive. And we have an additional ton of people from Portal Games offices in Poland, who are on the chat, hopefully, uh, talking to you. And we have the whole Portal Games USA uh, team, I guess, on the chat as well. And I see the chat is already on fire, so <laughs> there is no way I, we can catch up with everything. A greeting from Minap Minneapolis. This is, is amazing. And, um, so this is the plan for convention. You stay with us on YouTube. Once again, greetings to Facebook, uh, Periscope, and all other uh, places. You play our games on Tabletopia. You engage with your friends and other fans on Discord. Mm, uh, anything I should mention? Any questions? I'm not sure, but what about teacher? Because you mentioned there was no teacher. No, the teacher is not in, on schedule. The the most important message that I want to send out, and this is very 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 important for me, engage us. Like this is as a convention. This is the moment when you can type in the chat and say hello, Portal Games. I have this question. Hello, Portals. I love your work. Hello, Portals. Portal, I have this question. Uh, most of our employees, most of our team is uh, right now online for you on Discord and on uh, YouTube chat. So just jump in, talk, engage, uh, tell us your stories, tell us uh, what you're excited about. And uh, let's be excited about this two days craziness. Uh, speaking about the craziness, 
if this is a convention, there is cookies. <laughs> Has to be. So our fans um, who are crazy and who understand that there may be no convention without cookies, there was some crazy uh, people who sent us cookies beforehand. So uh, greetings to board game addict, uh, board games addiction who sent us. They sent um, two packs of cookies. Uh, one is still alive. The other one is already consumed. Very good. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they sent up front. They sent before before convention. So it is in Clever. time. Uh, so I already uh, um, take opportunity. It's so not board games addiction. Uh, so this is a uh, one package for us to survive this convention. And here. I didn't open it, so I hope these are cookies. But maybe it will be something, something, something different. Uh, but there is a note. So this is happening for everybody who is not Portal Games fan and who just happened to be here because he heard about some convention, showed information. Portal Games is known from the fact that at conventions, fans approach our booth and bring us cookies. So this is what's happening. We are online this today. We are virtual, having convention virtual. And we have, uh, have a great Portal Con online. Don't eat them all. These are okay. cookies all in one time. And Ignacio share at least one cookie from Cardi. So this is a Vitivan Gamer. And Thank you, Cardi. Thank you, I appreciate that. So this is our supply to survive. We are, we are going to play on deserted island in a moment. So we will need some, uh, some um, supplies. Well-preserved supplies. Yep. Uh, uh, Cardi, a Vitivan Gamer, has a, a daily vlog. And he's also a contributor for our Twitch channel. Uh, so he he streams uh, different things on our Twitch channel. Our Twitch channel is uh, twitch.tv slash portal games US. How simple is that? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm afraid you are talking too fast because people uh, notice that it's a delay in picture and the sound. So. Uh, Marek can, can fix it, uh, check the, 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 the stream, etc. Everybody was waiting for announcement about the new products and we are doing unboxing of the cookies. How lame is that? Uh, it's, it's definitely a warm-up. It is a warm-up. How many people are online? Can we, can we do you know it? 200 people? Yes. 200. Leibniz. Good quality German cookies. Leibniz. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is our supply for a deserted island. And now we can talk. Oh, yes, yes. And now... <laughs> And now we can talk uh, announcement. Marek, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Hit it. Hit it, hit it. Straight to business. So here, so here it is. Uh, uh, so here it is. Uh, announcement from Portal Games Digital, mm, and uh, believe it or not, because Portal Games Digital is a separate company uh, who works with us. Of course, is uh, our brand, but it's a separate company. So not every employee of Portal Games knew about this project. Like so, even it is for you, amazing. I hope amazing, amazing news. But it's also amazing news for some of our employees uh, who didn't catch up with uh, all the news what's happening around the company. Uh, Narushima Convoy. I have with me the first printing. So this is the first printing from uh, SN many, many years ago, uh, 2010 or 11, something like that, Convoy. We released this game uh, in Poland, in Germany, in uh, America, of course, in, in France. And now um, we are happy to announce that this is basically ready. We are in a final, final testing, as you saw already in a teaser. Everything works and smooth and it looks amazing. Uh, and the artwork and all the animations and everything uh, work, works perfectly. And this thing will be released on September 5th. Why the date? Because uh, this is the, in the lore, this is the word, yes, the lore, the lore of Neuroshima. In the world, we described that in the Neuroshima world, on September 5th, 2020, Moloch starts the war. So this is how it is described in the, in the lore. So we are celebrating the attack of Moloch. We're releasing our third app uh, from Protagonist Digital. 
we released the last year Tides of Time. We released early, earlier this year uh, Roland Wright. In person to Roland Wright, and the re reviews are amazing. I, I really appreciate uh, your feedback on this on this app. And the third app from Portal Games Digital is uh, Neuroshima Convoy. I believe all who love Neuroshima Hex cannot wait uh, to play Neuroshima the card game. Uh, basically, I have some notifications here. I don't know what's going on. Let me just check it. Bing, 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 bing. What's going on? Uh, oh yes, our message, message. I have a message. I have a, I have a message to Portal Games employees. Don't send me notifications <laughs> when I'm alive. Like, uh, please support me. Don't distract me. Like this is the plan. Our team is very excited about the announcement. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, finally something new for us. <laughs> so, as I said, no, not, not everybody knew about this announcement. Um, so I hope you are uh, happy. I hope that uh, you will be enjoying this app a lot. I believe that we proved, uh, by we I mean Portal Games Digital, that Tides of Time, amazing app, Roll and Ride, amazing app, and now Noroshima Kondo will be the third, uh, the third amazing app from our team. So um, looking forward, September 5th uh, uh, release date, so very, very soon in uh, two months, something like that. Less than two. What the chat says, think still out. That means that uh, I, I talk and they see it and it's different. Mario, can you confirm? Yes, but the, the question is which is faster. Okay, so the message for everybody, we are fixing, we are trying to improve it, so we will see what will happen. Hopefully, we will fix it. Uh, this is an amazing sentence. Can I uh, read it? Ignaz is a board game genius. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. Uh, you're definitely too kind. Um, it has to be on the t-shirt. No, no way. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, many questions about Neuroshima Hex uh, update once again because we discussed it in, in, on Polish forums, but maybe not in the international forums. Neuroshima Hex is uh, in a development. It will be redesigned from the scratch. We announced it in Poland, uh, I guess, a few months ago already. Uh, yes. That we are not working on the update. There is not planned update for this app, like which has some reskin or some fixes. We just are doing it from the scratch to make it an amazing new app for you, uh, high quality as Roll and Write, as Tides of Time, as Naroshima uh, Convoy. So for all of you who love Naroshima Hex, on one hand you have to be waiting a few months, so you have to be patient. But on the other hand, we promise you that, that it's not going to be just a simple update. It is just amazing new version with the new features, uh, new, new ways to play mm, uh, online, etc. etc. So be patient. Naroshima Hex is in development right now mm, and it will be amazing, amazing. So, not perfect. update, but yep. a new product is yep. coming. So, it's great. And I have to say from my side, because I was in, uh, involved in the um, convoy from the beginning and not so much later. So, I know when it started and I know now when it ends. And I have to say, it was pretty streamlined and fast without basically delays, which for me is very, very surprising. astonishing and surprising. surprising. <laughs> so yes, Niroshima Hex fans, if everything go right. I mean, Niroshima is a bit different and I think much bigger it's project. bigger project, of course. Yeah, but still, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. How about a second edition of the first Martians? Uh, please do not wait. Uh, nothing like that is in plan. Uh, Marek, um, can we have a second announcement of, of, to of today? So I guess everybody was waiting for that. I guess Naroshima fans knew that something is coming and yes, we can finally confirm that the new expansion for 51st State, uh, not in the works, in the final, in the final, yeah. final, final stage. It was in, in the works during the COVID. I talked about this in, uh, in interviews and in my vlog and in my podcast, Board Games Insider, that COVID uh, made it very difficult to play test uh, uh, with uh, Janaki Janka, but we used, uh, of course, online platforms like Tabletopia, and we were able to slowly, slowly move on, move forward, and, and uh, make this project uh, alive. And yes, I can announce officially that we finished the development, the expansion is ready, and by ready, I mean now is a great problem, not mine anymore. 
Uh, so uh, Jana finished all the cars. Now they are in the, uh, I guess, proofing. I think this is a proofing stage uh, right yes. now with, with our uh, native uh, editors. Mm, and Moloch, uh, what is this? You haven't played it yet? Or you played? I've seen like five minutes of playtime with when uh, Joanna was testing it, and it looks really interesting. Uh, but it, yes, I I can leave you the details. I. Uh, I will talk about this in many game designer journals and interviews because this interesting story that she came with, to me with the idea. I didn't like this idea. I told her, uh, Jana, it will probably not work. So she said, okay, so we'll come up with something else. But I said, no, 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 you do it. I think it will not work. But yes, this is what you have to do. You have to try, you have to experiment, you have to look for the different ideas. So go for it and probably we'll touch it. And it worked. Uh, so I was, I was wrong, but on the hand, I was right that I let her do it. So, uh, b why I was skeptical? Because this is a, a semi-cop, yeah. uh, and uh, fans who know my taste in games, I don't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of semi-cops, but this one really, really works. So, uh, how the expression works? Moloch. Uh, in each round, robots, machines, the Moloch uh, enemy is uh, on the table and is attacking every single player at the table. And now we, as the players, on one hand want to win the game, on one hand want to gather victory points, on one hand want to raise each other, but on the other hand, if you don't attack the Moloch cards, if you don't destroy this attack, this Moloch cards, he will just destroy us. It will be very, very difficult. So this is a very interesting new dynamic in the game that you are considering, okay, I need to kill this, Mol this robot because it is very dangerous for me. I can live with that, that, that robot because it is not that big for me, so I'm okay. So this is an additional factor that you have to think which resources you have to sacrifice to help yourself and other players and which resources you sacrifice to just get victory points and, and win. And the last, the last play test we had uh, when I gave the final green light for the thing was that on purpose I left on the table one of the uh, robots because this robot was killing people and in terms of the, of the rules it means that you are losing one worker at the beginning of, the, of the, each round. But I had a school card so my production of workers was much bigger than the, so I felt that I can live with one worker, but for John it's a really big deal. And I left this uh, this this this, uh, this robot on the table, and he really was a pain in the ass for the Janna. Not that big for for me. So semi cop, completely new mechanism, uh, Moloch machines attacking each player in, uh, around the table and us the debating uh, if you fight with the Moloch or we just fight with each other. Mm, uh, great great idea from uh, Janna. Mm. Can you very vaguely uh, talk about talk the calendar? This is the next year, I guess. This is uh, like yes. quarter one, I quarter mean, two. Our basic idea was to release it uh, uh, as the uh, app of Convoy on 5th of September. But because of COVID, we moved it to the next year. Yep. First quarter, I believe. But the final date is not set yet. Because it's involved the Polish Convention of sorts. So we'll see. We'll see. Yes. So, but the good news is Moloch is coming, it's the first expansion for 51st state that has a semi cob rules. It's uh, very, very different from all existing expansions, so I guess you will have once again a lot of replayability added to the game. And now we can so move... So, question, yep. question from the gamers, or, or a gamer. Does the game now last a little longer? Because it's, you have less, less resources? So, yeah, so this, is a, so this is a good question. So, uh, Janna made it that you can play easy, normal and hardcore mode. The, and depending on which mode you are playing, these uh, Moloch machines are more and more stronger. And indeed, it makes the game stronger. You sp are spending resources on killing Moloch instead of, you know, getting victory points. Uh, when I played with John uh, last time, we finished, I think, in the fourth round anyway. Okay, uh, can Moloch be played with other expansions? You never, you never combine expansions <laughs> with the first stage. You never do it. Never. No. But, so you said, you, 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 not, you not only have the Moloch cards, but also new cards for... Uh, you have so uh, this Moloch, the Moloch, the Moloch uh, cars. You can attack, and this is a regular raising uh, mechanism. Or you can hack them, and you have all the, from oh. outpost hackers who can hack them. And if you hack the, the card, you are not destroying it. You are getting it to you for your table, and you have some machine that works for you, which is freaking awesome. And they have very powerful, powerful abilities. And you have a hack talk in your in your empire. So yes. Uh, Fun stuff, uh, we will discuss this in upcoming months and teasing you. And uh, once again, Janna is amazing and uh, we have something brilliant for the fans of 51st State. Can we have the third, the third announcement, please? Yes. 
And uh, the third announcement uh, today, uh, petty officers uh, from Mike Selinker and his team, uh, because there is a few people who are designing this, uh, this expansion, of course, Mike Selinker is the face of the team, uh, but there is, uh, there is a whole team preparing this case. And this is the case that will be released in a signature series. So it will be that size of the box. It will have number two, which makes me super, super proud and super, super happy. Uh, and as with every single expansion for Detective, and we can say we cannot say much more. <laughs> You've seen it all. <laughs> You've seen it all. Um, the the case. What we can say about the case. What we can say. Just for, so what you will learn from the introduction. So no spoilers. Uh, there is a circus. There is a dead body, and, and the tiger is a suspect. And then and then everything starts uh, changing. Uh, there is a amazing amazing twist in this in this case. So, uh, what we already know, because uh, we discussed with, with Greg, we already know there will be people who will be like, what the hell just happened? I hate this, this is stupid, what a stupid idea. And there will be people who will say, oh my god, this is amazing, this is yes. brilliant, this is amazing. So, we know it will diverse. Uh, uh, it is a game changer, game changer of sorts. Yes. Yeah. But this is precisely why we invented Signature Series. This is precisely what we said. We said to these famous designers like Rob DeVure, Mike Selinker, uh, this is Detective. Do whatever you want, uh, and uh, and they want to sh sh show off it. They want to sh show us, show you what they can pull off from this mechanism. So that's why uh, dig deeper. In the amazing case. Once again, we cannot spoil, but uh, already so many reviews and people are really enjoying that. And uh, Mike Selinker and his team. This is a scenario with a twist that that we can we can promise you. Uh, and once again, there is no detailed schedule yet. The case is read, uh, submitted to us, accepted by us. Now our development team, of course, will uh, fix uh, probably some small issues. Our editors will fix their language, some problems, but basically it's ready. Uh, and uh, as the 51st state Moloch uh, soon will be in his hands. Waiting. And then uh, ready. So uh, Dig Deeper was awesome case waiting for the next. So exactly. Mm, um, and uh, I already see in the chat that people uh, are writing they already pre-ordered something that we haven't yet announced so I think that we need to uh, what's going on <laughs> uh, uh, Mara can we do a now the video with the twitch let's go to the so we have a twitch channel we promoted with the special reels yes a special ad and this is the newest one uh, watch it Oh, the outer border only protects against deranged. You're right. Oh, that's what it is. You're right. Yep, you're right. I can never remember this. Maybe, you know, I should have watched Rodney. <laughs> Did he go over all this? Saves these, and you can go back and rewatch old stuff. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> you thought this was a one and gone? Yes. That's funny. I should have worn my better shirt. Talk to us about it. So he's a he's this beautiful lab. He's about three years old, um, sweet as can be. Um, he does have an issue. We don't know why this is, but sometimes when an, an older gentleman um, walks up to him, he will sometimes growl. Mm -hmm. So while he's visiting, you can't come over. But anyway, I was letting that sink in, and you're ignoring me while you figure out your strategy. Well, of course I am, yes. So uh, this is uh, our newest uh, advertisement for the uh, Twitch channel. We hope it will convince you to uh, get uh, on board with this uh, platform. And a few words about this platform. Uh, Twitch channel is our place that we give it to our fans and friends to create content uh, and uh, play with you games and show you the game. So I uh, rarely uh, I'm, I'm there. 
Uh, we have a whole team of people who are streaming there. We have Eric Link doing the streams twice a week on Monday and on Tuesday playing uh, Neroshima Hex. We have uh, Kerdy, the cookie. A delivery person from Belgium uh, playing our games and showing them. We have special guests like uh, Rolling Names uh, podcast playing Monolith Arena. We have uh, Paul and David playing Imperial Settlers and Rise of the Empire. So the concept for the Twitch channel is to provide you entertainment almost every single day. Almost every single day we have a new stream on our Twitch channel and you just enjoy Fans of Portal Games, friends of Portal Games, playing our games, talking about the games, talking about the uh, crazy stuff. I guess the next week you will see a ton of uh, live streams discussing PortalCon, how it went, uh, what they like. That like basically this is a place for you to engage in a live discussion, etc., etc. So I strongly uh, recommend Twitch.tv/PortalGamesUS. You can follow us. Uh, if you click all these, uh, you know, bell icons, etc., you will get notifications about the new stream. So I strongly recommend. Uh, and because it's a stream in English for our English-speaking fans, but for our fans in North America and in Europe, some of the streams are very late for us because they're in the North America time. But some of them are in uh, European time zones, and uh, so you can watch them even if you are living in in Europe. So check it out. Uh, we have amazing, amazing contributors. Some of them even know the rules of the games they are playing. Not all of them, but uh, most of them uh, know. Some of them are learning on the fly, which is cute. <laughs> and we love it. So yeah, uh, Twitch channel it is. And now we can go to uh, what the chat says, pre-orders. Because, uh, I mean, we already sold the product, <laughs> apparently. Everybody who is here on the chat already bought it. But <laughs> we need to announce it officially. Uh, officially, uh, Empires of the North Barbarian Hordes. Starts uh, today, in, uh, the street date. In US, I'm not, and I don't know. It has to be US team. Twenty <laughs> twentieth of August, I guess. Uh, Portal Games USA. You can uh, correct us, but I think it is twentieth of uh, of August. Uh, I guess this is similar in Europe. Yes. The same. The same. We are releasing it in Poland, in Europe, in uh, in America at the same time. Two new decks uh, for the Empires of the North. Mm, uh, for all of you who love Janaki Janka, yes, I was not involved. This is everything designed by Janaki Janka. I was fired from this project. So, mm, yes, uh, two amazing decks. So you can see them in action. You can see them in play mm, during PortalCon. Uh, Paul and David will play Barbarian Hordes for you. And you can ask them questions on the fly because it will be live stream. So this, this is why I in, uh, ask you to be engaged, to engage with us, to ask us questions because we are live streaming. Like we could record it. You know earlier and just put it on the YouTube but no we want to be with you so you can watch uh, Paul and David playing Empires of the North uh, Barbarian Hordes and ask them questions about the card about the mechanism about anything and they will help you and uh, understand uh, let you understand how it works one of the decks is uh, classical Imperial Setters Barbarian that means it is they are mean they have these sabotage tokens they put sabotage on your cards and this is not very good for you the other ones are using uh, Rafts. Rafts, uh, a new type of the of the boat, of, of sailing mechanism, and they, uh, the fields were a little bit different, so it is a, a less mean faction, but also very interesting. As I said, Janna Kijanka on fire, and you can produce it today from our website, and we are shipping early August, I guess. Yes, because yeah, the, the product should be uh, at the warehouse. We always try that if you pre-order from us, you get it about two weeks before the street date, so you can already brag on the forums and tell them, hey, I already have it. It's amazing, so we strongly recommend to pre-order from us. Uh, and it makes that we have six factions in the base game, two Roman decks, two Japanese decks, and I have not enough fingers to show that with the Barbarian Holes we go to 12. Yes. We go to 12, to, to 12 factions, so... Um, Side note, because this is a, this portal con, this convention, this is a time to just gossip with you and, and, and talk live, a live stream. Uh, both me and Janka, we really enjoy doing these factions. Like it is uh, really fun. It's it's I would not say simple, but it's really no, this is not the thing that I think. Oh my God, I need to do another faction. No, no, it's it's fun. All of these factions, as you already know, have some basic uh, mechanism like inside the uh, game uh, inside, and we design cars there. And uh, as for now, we are not tired. Uh, we are enjoying this time with with these factions, and I even have with. Me here the, just to show that yes, Egyptian kings, Egyptian kings are, are coming. Two new decks, uh, 
It is for oh. next. Uh, it is for the next year, right? Yes. It is for the next year. Jana is working on this already. She already pitched me ideas for these two factions, and I already accepted them. One is, of course, all about the fields and the Nile that you know gives water, and water gives you fields, and you harvest these fields, and so this is the theme of the Nile. Uh, but the other one is a, a very, very, very inter interesting twist. She looks at the Egypt as a history, as a ties of time, whatever. Uh, and you will have a card that have these uh, hourglasses on them. And uh, each uh, action you take, the hourglasses goes from this card. And uh, if you don't do something before all hourglasses are gone, the card is lost. Because tides of time, because... Lost in the past, sense of yes. time. <laughs> um, so very interesting new concept of you trying to save this empire before it goes, goes away with time. So Janka is on fire as always. Uh, so Barbara... And chat is talking that you said no announcements for uh, by pairs of the North, Katrick. So liar, this, is, this, liar. Is, this is live stream. Uh, so Barbara and Holmes um, on pre-order today in our European shop, in our American shop, in our Polish shop. Uh, we are shipping two weeks before the street day. That's when you're going to check it out. And uh, I confirmed that Janka is uh, doing Egyptian kings or pharaohs or whatever. <laughs> we'll, we'll pick the name later and for you. So we continue to support the line. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, super proud of what we achieved with this game already. I just want to say that in this expansion, uh, one of the factions especially is the, aimed for the players who don't want the complete solitaire play. I mean, there's not a, that big of a, going back and forth in the uh, Empires of the North, but here with the, the ambush sabotage faction of, I see, Ulvard. <laughs> uh, so uh, they have spies, so they put these little tokens on their opponent's card. But the trick part is that they work when their opponent activates them. Yep. So you have to see what he, he's doing. Which, Which card? Are, for him. Yeah, are used most of the time because you don't want to place a token on a card which is not useful. And opposite, and on from the other side, your opponent needs to think because when he activates the card, then uh, he lets uh, the Ulvard, the barbarian player, to copy a resource in his. Yes, he gets uh, in his. Yeah, he gets you. So it's uh, another trivial. Okay, should I activate it now and give him one apple, or maybe later? So it's a. Really, really interesting uh, aspect when you have to look on the opponent what he's playing when you play two or three player game. So there was there was one faction in the base game. I don't remember now which one because there was too many of them. That but we put them on this very you know uh, it was Japanese. But one of the factions was yes Japanese played on the cards of the of the of the opponent and we put it. This is difficult because you have to understand the cards of the opponent. Yes. To know which are crucial for him, and it's the same situation that you have to understand which cards opponents are important for you to support touch them. Yeah, so this is higher level of understanding the gameplay. I'm just saying that the rolling dice and taking it shouldn't play this. Right? <laughs> uh, jokes aside, and we have another another uh, pre-order open, and this is for Detective Season One, uh, sitting here next to uh, Greg, um, and with that we have a street date. September. September 10th. 10th, we already know, yes? Yeah. September 10th, uh, my dear friends and fans, uh, season one, three new cases, uh, natural causes, uh, blood, ink, and something. Something. And, uh, and solid alibi. Uh, three new cases. These cases are 24 cards, so this is like uh, suburbia, so they are a little bit shorter than the, the one for the big game. The mechanism is a little bit simpler. There is no stress tokens and there is no authority tokens. Uh, so it is a simpler, it's a fast, it's amazing. You play these cases in about 90 minutes, uh, max uh, top two hours. Mm, uh, and we are very happy when we were play testing this, when we were developing this uh, in house here with the team, the whole team looked like there was no complaining whatsoever. Everybody enjoyed that. It is like a playing detective, the same engagement, the same interaction, the same deep uh, story. But on the other hand, so clean, so fast, so easy to grasp. And each of these cases is so different from each yes. other. Like they, they yes. are really like separate words. Uh, and uh, my favorite one, the, the blood, ink and something, uh, taking, taking action in Great Britain, in the old mansion. 
Uh, Blood, ink and tears. Mystery, mystery, mm. mystery tales. Uh, um, uh, amazing, amazing thing. So Detective releasing uh, this September, as Greg said, and we have the most amazing uh, promo item for you in the Keystore of Portal games. I'm so proud of it. Uh, this is actual book. Like uh, I don't know how it uh, looks in the camera. Maybe Mark can show it uh, from the closer, uh, so you guys see. This is a real 80 pages book that I uh, wrote about uh, developing and designing all these cases. So, first of all, don't read it before playing the game. Yes. Don't even browse it before <laughs> playing the game because you may see because you, <laughs> because you may see one word and it will spoil you uh, the, the the whole thing. Uh, but when you finish a case, then you read this chapter for this particular case and you learn how we designed this case, how we developed, what are these Easter eggs, what are the hidden clues, maybe you missed them, you know, what were the fun anecdotes from playtesting. This is gold. Uh, like, I'm so proud of this book. I cannot wait for, for you to give us feedback about uh, if you like it, if you want more like, such a books, because I hope that after you play the game and you have a great time, then when you read how we designed this, how we developed that, how this case was uh, created, it will give you a ton of background and uh, additional fun. So for the first time in the key story, we have 80 pages book uh, to add to the product about development through Game Designer Journal. So you must to get it. Like this is this is no question. This is this is not offer. This is like you must. This is this is as simple as that. We are very very proud of what we have here. A hardcover. A book game designer journal for season one and uh, as always uh, if you pre-order from us not only you will get this book uh, but you also will get this before uh, oh, it's funny days. it's a long stretch to say that egyptians were an empire in the north uh, depending uh, when you look at japanese the as well so they can be upside down yeah so yeah of course um, uh, so uh, we are shipping this in august so you mm, get it so you get it yes you should the plan is to ship it second half of August. Yes. So we are shipping it uh, in August, so you get it uh, before the street date as, as always, and uh, have a great time with the, your friends. So this pre-order starting today in America, in our European shop and in our Polish shop. So two new products on pre-order for you. We all we still have a Rise of the Empire on pre-order. Yes, because it's unreleased yet. Because it releases uh, next week. Yes. So. Uh, Rise of the Empire still on pre-order and uh, here uh, during the Portal Con we have Paul and David playing Rise of the Empire for you. So once again, don't hesitate. Come, watch them playing, uh, engage them, ask them questions about the cast, ask them questions about the rules, ask them about the, their opinion. This is convention. This moment when you approach us, like at the booth, and talk with us, ask us questions. So we are live streaming for you so you can engage us. So don't hesitate. Uh, see Paul and David playing, ask them questions, uh, learn about the product and As then... long as we don't have the penguins expansion for Empires of the North. Penguins. I mean, uh, I'm still a young Lemons. designer. Lemons. I, I, I'm, I, I'm planning to design for many, many years. So yes, at some point I will have no ideas for the factions. Penguins, great idea. With eggs? For, for Rise of the Empire, we have these amazing postcards uh, for you as a promo item. So you, if you have the games room with you know like a canvas and some pictures on the on the walls it looks amazing all the artwork from uh, from from the game in, uh, so you can pre-order rise of the empire from us and get all these things that you can put in the frames and get stuff and greg even has a promo for you yes and the and the sort of promos which is very helpful in the game uh if you know the rules because it allows you to move quicker on the on the track Okay. So to to and it is very tech, tech, it is tech, very tech, okay. very very important. So uh, and and an interesting decision because you have to sacrifice some resources to do that. So you have to choose go to going for the score or going for the truck. Uh, I also uh, would like to welcome Stephen Bonacor, who is with us uh, here at the convention. He said he he wanted to be with us, so he is with it, us. It is a bit of the downgrade from the standy I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there one question about the book? Uh, if the book will help somebody to create his own case. Oh yeah, this is a very question. So let me yeah, use a microphone to re repeat the question. So the question on the chat was, if uh, reading the book, you will learn how to design cases and it, if it will help you. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, I, I'm not saying that it will uh, make you the writer for the cases, but for sure there, is a, there are chapters when I explain how, how, how I was designing this case and you will definitely learn uh, some of the tricks. So yes, definitely yes. 
Season 1. Be like Ignacy Czewicz. Be like Ignacy. Uh, let me check my notes. We announced the Neuroshima, Hex, uh, Neuroshima Convoy app. We announced 51st State Moloch uh, new expansion. We announced the second signature series expansion Petty Officers. We announced Egyptian Kings. We start pre-orders for Barbarian Hordes. We start pre-orders for Season 1. I told you that this convention takes place on YouTube for two days long. All these crazy events, gameplays, uh, playthroughs and uh, CD stuff including board game stand-up. Ignacy is doing board game stand-up. This is insane. We are using Discord. I have no clue how you can find this Discord, but do Google. Uh, if you go to portalcon.pl, there is a link to our Discord. Be smart, use the link, use the Discord. We have fans, we have volunteers there, we have our team there. You can talk with them and you can play games. We have six games on Tabletopia, including Naoshima Hex, Monolith Arena, Stronghold, Impia Setters, and other games that I forgot. Detective. <laughs> exactly. And the uh, last thing, and I see that the chat is on fire. Oh, Paul in cow. Hello, Paul. Um, uh, be on fire. Like, be all the time on fire. We want uh, to see the chat on fire. We have uh, Mary checking this. We have, I see my team, David uh, March Banks from Porta Games US is uh, on chat as well. Mary is on chat. Uh, Liv uh, from uh, Belgium, our portal gamer, is on chat, so there is a ton of people from the office uh, talking to you, engage them, have fun. This is convention. You have to be tired after these many, many hours. You will, at the end of the, today, you will turn off the computer, you will turn off your TV smart and you say, oh my god, it was like Gen Con, exhausting. And you can still have a shower in the good condition. Yes, how like... cool is that? You will be engaged, you will be exhausted, but then you have a shower at home, so this is cool. And um, my team also asked me to remind that the, during the whole convention, this is a virtual convention, but we treat it as a local convention. So we treat our web stores during this convention as the, you are at the booth. So we have a flash deals all the time. Our sales team, they are crazy. And I ask them, like, and I encourage them to do that. So every couple of hours, they are changing prices on our web store. So this is like a flash deal and now Robinson is cheaper. Flash deal, now Detective is cheaper. Flash deal, now Monolith Arena is cheaper. So you have to be on our web stores, depending which uh, region you are, and do a refresh, 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 because our sales team is crazy during the whole weekend and they are doing flash deals. Uh, all of you who re register to the convention have additional special code. Uh, and basically you can even try to convince them here on chat to get some discounts because our sales team is on the chat and they will engage you as well. So uh, take the opportunity to bring from this convention something to home because we have amazing prices. Uh, for America, we have free shipping. For Europe, uh, we have uh, free shipping on some level. I don't remember the levels, but you can double check them on the website. Everything is written, I guess. And basically bring some uh, memories from this convention, except this one major me memory, some Dude was yelling at me for that one hour and I was not understanding what's happening. Mm, I see that I am talking for 43 minutes. Uh, I need the water. <laughs> water? You don't drink water. Uh, no. Something to drink. Can you show it to the camera? Yes, of course. So this is a, a pre-production copy of new edition of Empires of the North. It's in... Um, I cannot translate it, but it's in Chinese. So. Uh, for you Chinese gamers, I'm not sure do we have anyone yet at our uh, convention, oh, but oh, this nice. is something coming for you uh, this year. This year, because it's a pre-production, is in production. It is a sample, right? It is a sample. It is a, yeah, it is a sample. Not not all everything is final, but close to final. So uh, there are a few things we are. And correcting. you know how to pronounce the name? No. Uh, yes, of course, Empires of the North, come on. Uh, today, uh, right after this uh, this stream, I'm playing with Greg, we are playing a King Kong scenario for Robinson Crusoe. Then we have a contest for you that you can win uh, different prizes, and this is a Chara Days, so you'll be uh, guessing the titles of the games based on the, of the illustration. And then we have uh, top 10 stories about designing detective, I'm doing something like that. And then we have Troglodyte, Janaki Janka, Live, Destroyic Eric, uh, so Eric Link, Captain Link, who is uh, on Twitch uh, doing these live streams of playing Naroshima Hex, and he was brave enough to challenge Janaki Janka uh, and play with her uh, Troglodyte, uh, and then the uh, rest of the team. And I the King Kong scenario, both for, for you, it's uh, so many ways to die or something? No, this is... This. <laughs> We are fine. Okay, we're no, fine. No, we're no, fine. No. We're fine. There was a song. No, we are fine. We're fine. 
And then Everything is, dies. There was yes. a song. And then there is our Twitch team discussing all Portal Games games, and Chevy will be moderator, and he will talk all these ridiculous stories from the Gen Con, problems with shipping. You know these stories. Oh, Chevy, do not. Uh, do not. Nice. Uh, all these crazy stories with missing, missing product and all these uh, adventures with uh, rule, rule books for Stronghold reprinted. You remember this story? Like, these are things that, will ha that happen. And we'll it's good to that. be able to laugh at them now. Yes, now. now. <laughs> and, I have, and I have the whole, I have the whole uh, schedule for today. And then we have a Wizen Wages Portal Edition. You know, uh, uh, yes, uh, you know that Wizen Wages Portal Edition means that you are playing Wizen Wages, the CD question. So I prepared seven CD questions. And our and both portal is, games, of course. Yes, and our team is playing, and I divided them into two teams: portal games employees against portal games volunteers. So we will see who knows the company better: uh, employees or um, volunteers. It's still luck based. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and then we have a special guest of PortalCon, and Mr. Bonacor will be live. And then we close the day with Rise of the Empire gameplay and discussion. So once again, I strongly recommend engage, ask questions, have fun. Uh, uh, learn about this expansion so uh, one uh, main message for the uh, for the whole uh, stream uh, now after each after each event we take like 10 or 5 minute break for water uh, so now we will close this stream everything will be stopped and then we see once again in a few minutes when the schedule says it is a new stream the new stream will appear so don't be confused it is not that we have some technical problems or but we, are... we can <laughs> oh, oh, we, done. we are done no we are taking now 10 minute break and we see you in uh, in, in few minutes i will be next on the next table playing playing with greg robinson close thank you for being with us how many people are watching 280 people so almost 300 people online uh, um, super happy super proud I uh, haven't a chance uh, to look at the chat, uh, Paul, David, uh, Peter, Bill, all the, all the fans. Thank you for being with us. I appreciate that. I need the water. We need to break. Uh, some, some, somebody told us that it looks like a hair on the screen, not a real hair. So. This? Yeah. This is, this is, a, this is, a, this? This is a plastic plant. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> it's attacking Ignacy probably. I see Andrew is Still on alive. fire. Time for cookies Funky, now, yes. Funky says uh, no 51st state pre-order yet. Uh, no, no, it's not yet. Uh, and guys, w one last message and we are finishing. We have uh, scheduled two hours to play Robinson Crusoe. Most likely, me and Greg will be done in 40 minutes. 14? 30, I think. So then we will chat on the chat. Depending so, who will roll the dice, probably. Yes. <laughs> so now we are closing. See you in a few minutes uh, on the next event. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.